Nick Kruger with Nicole from the Big Easy Roller Girls. Now, Nicole, how did you get your start? Oh, I started back in 2009 when I was living in Baton Rouge. I just graduated from LSU. I saw a flyer for Red Stick Roller Derby, and I thought, that sounds way too cool. I have to be a part of this. Sure. So I went, started attending practices. Uh, I actually officiated for three years with them. And uh, just this season, I started uh, working to play. So what's your day job, and how do you keep it balanced? I work in the marketing department for a major ma manufacturing company, and uh, I don't want to tell them. That. Sure, no problem. Yeah. <laughs> all right. I don't want to say. No, that's and okay. I do all kinds of work. <laughs> so, when a fan comes to a bout, what can they expect? What's the atmosphere like? Uh, the atmosphere is amazing. It's very New Orleans. Uh, our bouts are like none other in the country, probably in the world, because New Orleans is just that cool. Uh -huh. uh, it's. It's a lot of energy, it's a lot of fun. We have the rolling Elvi there every time, walking around, scooting around, throwing sure. out candy. Sure. They're just, they're amazing, they're great supporters of us. So talk about a little bit about the community service. I know you guys roll in muses every year. We do roll in muses every year and we love uh, our partnership with them. I think we've always rolled with them ever since we started, uh, but not 100% on that. Sure. Uh, uh, that's a ton of fun and for every bout, mm -hmm. we do a 50-50 raffle for a different ch charity. That, uh, that is a different local charity. Uh, this month, for example, is Habitat for Humanity. Uh, our last one was something I don't remember. Okay. Uh, but we loved working with the community. We hope to do a build sure. with Habitat. And, yeah. So what inspired you to get into roller derby and why do you, why do you continue to do it? Uh, I joined just because it sounded cool. I just graduated college, sure. didn't know what else to do. Why not try it sure. out, learn how to roller skate? Uh, and I continue mostly because of the community. These girls are the most amazing people I've ever met. They are crazy committed to something that they just absolutely yeah. adore. It's a very tight-knit community. It's almost like a family, which is really nice for me because my actual family is all the way in Chicago. So it, it kind of supplies that for me. Sure. Uh, and I've and also I've stayed uh, because of the, uh, the physical challenges that it provides. I was never very athletic. Sure. I was the artist, I was the musician, the writer, and this has shown me that I can be really physically strong sure. and I can push myself to do things that I want to do. So, as you can see, it's pretty hot in here. Uh, hot. <laughs> so, talk about, about a little bit about the conditioning and how you stay in shape and what you do. Um, well, I come to practice at least three, da three days a week uh, at night in our warehouse, which is not climate controlled. So, we sweat our faces off and it's pretty gross, but it actually makes us better athletes. Um, we do speed training, we do agility training, we do teamwork stuff, uh, offense, defense. Uh, on my spare time, I do strength work. I go and do weights and a little bit of cardio. All right, great. Thanks a lot. Have a good one. Sorry. No, no problem. No, <laughs>